Hey, dumbass. After everything that happened last time, I got to thinking. You better not consider me weak for all that. It's just I like a lot of different things. Thought you deserved to know. And, well, it's the day before our wedding, so I... I thought that maybe... I'd ask you one last time. Just to be sure. Are you damn sure? You're okay with being with me for life. It's pretty simple, actually. You can never get divorced with me. And if you do, I'll kill whoever it is that you... you break up with me for. Got it? Yeah, I'm not messing around with this. You're special, and... Better appreciate the fact that y you you mean so much to me. So, anyways, today, today's usually the day that idiots throw away all restraints and go enjoy their little parties, like they're celebrating being single one last time. Well, guess what, dumbass? I don't need any of that. So would you spend it with me? Yeah, screw all of them. We don't need anyone else. Just you and me for life. And maybe a family later on. But I'm not making any promises. The thought of sharing you with anyone. Uh, it makes me so mad. But honestly, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Why well, you got that smile on your face, dumbass? I don't think I like that. That's... That's not what I mean. Damn it, taking advantage of me? You're really trying to piss me off, aren't you? But you know what? I'll just get you back later. Or maybe now, like that. Yeah, what's the matter? Getting embarrassed now? So what if I kissed you in public? That's nothing compared to what we're gonna be doing. Nothing in particular. I'm sure you'll find out later. You're not a complete dumbass. So, putting all that aside, I did a lot of thinking. Nerd. Stop trying to insinuate that I'm never thinking. I'm quite thoughtful when I put my mind to it, damn it. But, um, I was hoping maybe we could go and enjoy something a little bit high class and nice. Nothing too ritzy, but, well, you know the sort of, like, pre-honeymoon we did. What if... What if we went and... Ugh, making me trip all over my words, this is all your fault. What if we... Enjoyed some peace and quiet before everything goes crazy tomorrow. I... I was hoping you would come with me and visit my hometown. You see, I kinda have this 
shitty relatives that he's kind of like family, but anyways, he invited me over and he wanted to see you. He wanted to meet you. And because I respect the old timer, I kind of said yes. I mean, it's not too late to cancel on it. I just thought I'd run it by you before anything else. So, what do you think? So you actually want to go? Well, yeah, he's like family to me. That old timer, he taught me about, well, a lot about my quirk and he maybe saved my life. Really depends on who you ask, dumbass. Besides that, let's let's just go. The um train's leaving soon anyways. Why you got that big smile on your face? Oh no. Don't tell me you're gonna ask all those embarrassing questions. Uh, I guess I can't stop you and Fine, but I'm getting you back by asking, well, by asking something embarrassing of your parents. They're gonna give me those baby pictures. Just you wait. Hey, I know we've been on this train for a little while, but I just wanted to say it's kind of fun. Maybe it's just a train, but having you by my side and getting the window seat kind of makes me a little bit happy. D dumbass, it's just the window seat if you push it. So what about you? What's your extended family like? Are they full of dumbasses like you? And I mean, since you're one irresistible dumbass, I'm sure I'll get along with them. Maybe just a little. But if they piss me off, then I'll go blow something up. That's, that's as much of a compromise as I'm gonna do. So, well, where did you grow up? Was it nice over there? No, I'm not getting sentimental on you, idiot. I'm just curious. When you care about someone, you want to know more about them, and... Yeah, dumbass, I care about you. And I guess you never get tired of hearing it, do you? Though I guess I kind of like that simple aspect to you. Makes my job that much easier. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I'm most definitely not simple. Easy to understand, sure. But I'm most certainly not a simpleton, dumbass. What do you mean I'm always yelling? It's not that simple, it's just... Uh, why do you gotta point out all these problems? Tch, treating me like a kid. Hey, look. You can see the town from here. It means we're close. See that lake over there? That's a... I used to swim in that lake all the time. And it played a part in my training. You see that thing over there? That great big thing on the side of the mountain. Yeah, that's my... Well, that old man's place. 
Yeah, I already said it, dumbass. He's pretty rich. But I think it's because he capitalized on a... Some kind of legendary hot spring. And it's kind of a big deal around here. I don't mind hot springs, but they're only really good after a good day's work. If you ask me. D don't tell me. You're a big fan of hot springs, aren't you? Well, I guess we can go. Yeah, dumbass. So what if I like to see you smile? It's also kind of pissing me off. There's a difference. There's a good smile and a piss me off smile. Don't even... Ugh. You'll never understand, dumbass. It's just not for you to understand, so shut up. Damn it. Take my hand already. We're going. So I just wanted to say before we get off the train, I do appreciate you coming here with me. So, thanks, I guess. Yeah, stop spacing out, dumbass. Let's get a move on. Let's walk through town. It's kind of a beautiful place, and I think you'll like it. In this town here... It's... I'm not really sure what you'd call it. But it's kind of a big deal on the countryside. There's lots of really special shops and delicacies that are of the area. Honestly, I think even the big city could learn a lot from out here. Yeah, dumbass, so what if I kind of don't agree with how they do things there? One thing I'll agree with is that the heroes there are top-notch. That's what matters. That's why I'm there. Otherwise, in terms of relaxation and having a nice day off. I'd love to take you here more often. It's only a half day trip on the train, so I thought maybe we could. Yeah, that's a spirit, dumbass. So let's get you some clothes so you don't stick out. And besides, I think you'll enjoy the fashion here. It's kind of like stepping back in time. So hurry it up. Here, I chose something for you. So just go in the changing room and make sure it fits. Well, I'm still willing to get it for you. Are you making fun of me? I can't believe you... Damn it! Just put it on already. Don't make me come in there and put it on for you. Wait. No, I didn't mean it like that, dumbass. Damn it. You know what I meant. Yeah, I'm gonna put on one too, dumbass. I want to cross the street. So, just make sure you... Make sure it fits. I'll be right back. Are you really that happy to be in a place like this with a man like me? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> the dumbest things make you happy. I can't believe you even said that, dumbass. <laughs> Alright, let's get going.
<sighs> Guess we made it. Wasn't easy walking here as I thought. Guess going halfway up a mountain isn't really the easiest thing. Even if it's a staircase, there must have been 250 steps at least. Well, I'm just glad we made it. So, um, aside from that, when we meet this fellow, make sure you don't have any expectations of him. In a way, he's kind of like that old hag. Except for, well, just so you know, he's mute. They say he lost his voice because of his quirk. So I've always had to understand him with writing and with sign language. It's something that I learned when I was young. Also, his quirk is wicked. When I tell you this guy's an absolute badass, I... I mean it. And I happen to look up to him pretty... pretty well. Don't go laughing at me again. I can hear it. You're... making fun of me again, aren't you? Dumbass. Damn it, you nerd. Yeah, that's what you are. You're just a nerd. Fine, this way. Excuse me. Yeah, you. We're here to see that old Gramps. Now just open the door already. I don't want to have to blow it up again. Yeah, last time they wouldn't open the door to me because there was this new maid there and we got on a bad foot about something. No, no, nothing like that, dumbass. You're my only interest anyways. I don't have eyes for some dumbass maid. I have eyes for some dumbass next to me. So stop worrying about it. Ah, uh, here we go. Looks like that maid learned her lesson then. See, that's her over there, pressing that button to open the gate. She's afraid of me. I guess it's wise to be afraid of the coolest hero ever. <laughs> Whatever, let's go. Hey, Gramps. Long time no see. You, you wanted to see this one, right? Yeah, this dumbass here is... So what if I called my fiance that I'm marrying tomorrow dumbass? Didn't need to use your quirk on me like that. Old man, are you trying to start a fight with me? I... I'm sorry. That doesn't mean I'm gonna... Fine. It's... Nothing anyways, so... Uh... Fine. So, um... My love... Let's be off, shall we? <laughs> that guy really pisses me off. Yeah, they're showing us to our quarters, okay? It's gonna be a nice place, and we've even already got a whole hot spring reserved for ourselves. It's supposed to be the best one. Yeah, I said for both of us, dumbass. Hopefully you didn't hear me. So, follow me and we're gonna get some food. Well, actually, we should probably go to the hot springs first. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. 
You'll love it once you're in. I'm going in first. Hey, Slowpoke, what took you so long? Though I guess it was worth it. Getting to see you in just a towel. Now ain't that a sight for sore eyes. Sit down here, baby. We've got a night to enjoy together. Isn't it nice? You can get a little closer than that. I'm not some kind of ravenous monster. Unless you want me to be. Tch, idiot. You know I... <laughs> I wanted to go to this place with you for a long time. Not for the hot spring, but... To bring you into my life. To show you off to everyone, because I'm... I'm... I'm proud of you. And I'm so happy... To have you as my fiancé and soon-to-be. Well... Tomorrow's gonna be a crazy day. I'm kind of glad we chose to have the wedding in the evening. Something about the sun setting sounds romantic to me. Perfect for the sun setting on our lives apart and for the sun rising tomorrow, or well, the next day, to our future, to everything we want to achieve. But let's put that aside, shall we? After all, I think I owe you some tender love. Something that, well, it doesn't always need words, see? <laughs>